Hi, everybody, and happy, happy Monday. I am giving you a different perspective on my day. So I came in here, it's now 1.30 in the afternoon. I came in here about 9.30. I have been working so hard, but in, in so many different ways. So I have something special to share with you. Um, and then I wanted to give you an insight. I've been budgeting and balancing and trying to figure out savings challenges and what direction I need to go into to, to get myself to save. All right. So this is, this is my, my chaos, but it's okay because it is, um, it works for me. It definitely does. It's not perfect, but it works for me. Today is a little bit of a, a chilly day here. I'm chilly. I don't know if it's because I am working at my desk or what, but I definitely have my heater on and I need my heater to stay on because my fingers are frozen, frozen. But I do have to get rid of my keyboard. Stick with me because this is actually a really, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be super fun. And maybe it gives you a little insight into me, right? And how I save or how I create or just in general, me. Um, I'm gonna go live tonight, 7 p.m. If you can make it, I would love for you, I would love for you to come because I really, really, really want to talk about sinking funds. I don't know why, but it's it's playing a huge, it's taking up real estate in my brain. And I think it's so important to go over. If that's something that interests you, um, hashtag the word sink. All right, so I was working on numbers. I was working on thought processes. I'm gonna move them all out of the way for now because, and these were two little toys that I forgot to give my littles yesterday, but I will give it to them. I, I my money is sitting here. I, I am got receipts. I've got master lists. I'm not kidding you. I've been busy. I had my big notebook out, figuring out my budget for the week. But I want to go over what is under here. Now, you might personally be able to use it. I'm not putting it up on my .com unless somebody says that they want it. But it's really not geared to anyone else but for me and two other people. But I think that you might get a kick out of it. I am going to need um, I am going to need what I'm making this one into a book. Now I did buy these on Amazon because they are squared, right? But they have no closure. But I was thinking of making a closure, but uh, neither here nor there. I thought that this would be fun because it sits like a square book and it's not rounded, but I don't think it's going to hold much. That's why I don't know if it's really going to be so great for our budget community. <laughs> Do you see what's sitting on my desk? All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I spoke about this, um, recently. Bianca over at plan.live.budget actually two, Sundays ago because Kelsey from Budget Better Life popped into the the live. Oh my gosh, if you could be just this much excited for me. We, Bianca and I, Bianca's going to Florida for her sister's wedding. She and I have been talking and we we talked about doing Salem, Massachusetts probably about seven months ago. And it's getting close enough where plans have been worked on. I have to show it to you, I have to show it to you. Santa, you're not part of this, so I'm gonna ditch you for just a little bit. Are you ready to see what I made? I sent it over to the girls, but we're budgeting for a getaway. Do you see this? So plan, live, budget, Kelsey 
which is Budget Better Life, and myself are all booked for Salem in September. We're doing Hocus Pocus. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. I'm going to zoom you in. Just a little. I like my lines to be straight. Looks good to me. Okay, so this is, I'm going to break down the book with you, and I like to put it together so that if you're new to my books, when you print these out, they, they, they don't look right. They don't. But when you, when you fold them and put them together, they read like a book. I promise you. I get that all the time. And these are also big files. So they're what I call zip files. I've got to take all these files and compress them into a small file. And that's, and I get that, that question a lot. How, I can't find it. It's there. You downloaded it once, but it's a zip file. You got to click on it and extract the files to get it. I'm super excited. I didn't even know if these will work. Can you tell if these will work? Let's take, let's just take one of these and see because, oh, it might work. All right. I really should have did this on a live. I, I don't know. Maybe it would be fun to be just live and just in the middle of the afternoon and just go for it. But you know what? I'm making it a video. All right. So page one is the front cover. And of course, I'm, I'm giving notes because I think that this is something that's going to need notes. Page two for me and the girls could put them in any order they want. I need to save money for gas and tolls. It is a about a 300 mile drive for us. And so Bianca's coming with Vince. I'm coming with John. And Kelsey's coming with Vanessa, her mom, and the baby. So it's, it's going to be so much fun. And all right, so Gas and Tolls for me is 300 miles each way. Uh, I have to set goals. Then... We rented an Airbnb. So Vince, Bianca, John, and I are staying in an Airbnb. My portion is $800. And Kelsey and Vanessa and the baby and her mom are staying in another B&B. How awesome, right? Then on the first day, we're going on a schooner ship. It's, for, it's $88 a couple plus tips. So this is what I have to save for. And that looked totally awesome. I do believe it's like a sunset trip. It might be a sunset trip. I'm not sure. I, I want to be a, a little surprised. Then the next day, Bianca chose, and let me tell you, I, I told Bianca straight up, just tell me what to do. Tell me where to be. You can be Julie, the cruise director. She's got that knack. She's got that, like, go get them. Like, she's excitable, right? You know what I mean? And I'm so excited because I don't have to plan. She, I just have to be told where to be and what my, my goals are. And I'm good. So I, I hope she's having a good time with that. So on the next day, we are doing a guided walking tour. And I do believe it has to do with, um, I know it's hard to read, but the whole hocus pocus kind of theme. I'm very excited. Then I need to budget for food and drinks. My husband is a foodie, loves his food. And I want, I want him to have just as much of a good time because this one's about like me and my friends, but we're going to give him and Vince a day to go metal detecting on the beach. And I think that's gonna be, I don't know what day it's gonna be. It's up to, to Bianca to tell me. But I wanna, I wanna budget enough money so that I don't have to worry about like, what if we do lobster one night? I want, I want him to have it. I wanna, I wanna just, I wanna do this. So food and drinks, I wanna budget enough money. And then miscellaneous spending, meaning food for the Airbnb, food for in the car, little things like that, souvenirs, what I might want and need. All right. And then on the last page, I put in a don't forget list. 
things to pack. And if you've got to print this out multiple times, you can. And then this would be the back page. But Bianca is going from Florida to Massachusetts, her and Vince. So they have to have airfare. And I think it's round trip airfare because I think that they're going back down to Florida to then drive west to go home. They've got a whole month vacation, these two. If you're interested in following her, please go check both Plan Live Budget and Budget Better Life. I'm going to link them down below. But Bianca needed this, so that's why I gave it to her. Now I'm like so excited. Let's, let's put this together. And then I'm going to get into um, my savings challenge for the day. How do I see my life changing with my goals? It's truly, it's going to be a little bit. I, I want to kind of getting bored with my daily. And I want to spice things up a little. I, I kind of do. But I want to ask you all questions and see what your feedback is. So to cut my books up, you cut on the black lines. And that's what makes these so cool. And once you cut them all up and you make them in a book. Now, I can, I can make this all about Salem if you guys were going to do the Hocus Pocus area. And I can get rid of, I can get rid of these three on, on this. And then I could get rid of the date. But I would leave the trip and then you could put the date yourself. I think this is customizable. If, if this is something that you guys are planning for or, you know, it's a trip. Because I know so many people do the Massachusetts trip to go see Salem, to do the witches and just to see the historical area of, of it, right? I do love the movie Hocus Pocus. I'm not a, a Hocus Pocus 2 fan. Hocus Pocus 1 is definitely um, my fave. If I got another black cat, he would definitely be named Jinx. You know what's funny? I must be in animal mode because recently I keep thinking about a dog name. And I'm, I'm, I didn't think I was in the mood or in the... <laughs> I didn't think I was thinking about getting another dog, but you just never know when the the spirit moves you. But I think if I got another dog, I wanted to name him or her. It, it would probably have to be a boy. Jarvis. I, I, I've i thought about Jarvis for a long time. And because I'm definitely into um, Marvel mode right now, and Marvel mode usually comes into play for me Come summer. I just got, no, am I done with the Hulk? Yeah, I'm, I just finished the Hulk and now I'm up to the next one, which I do believe is Thor. But life hasn't allowed me to get to the next movie. No, not yet. But that's okay. When I do sit down to watch TV, it's, I, I need to watch what makes me happy. Johnny's in the middle of suits and I tried to get into that but I don't know after watching the pilot I couldn't I, I, I just I couldn't stand it and he got into it after that but so not I'm not into that right now all right so once you have all of all of these cut out what I do is this Bring our tape back. My hands are frozen. It's only, it's 68 degrees. I mean, it's not cold, but it's, it's cooler always in the house, right? It's always cooler in the house. All right. I'm beyond excited about this. Oh my gosh. This literally, I love when my creativity just oozes out of me. Like, we were talking on the phone yesterday, Bianca and I. She actually um, messaged me Airbnbs last week. 
And then I'm like, call me on your day off. And I think she called me Saturday, but I could not speak. I was like literally in the middle of stuff. Then she called me. And then I, she called me yesterday. I'm like, listen, I got to call you back. And no big deal. So after my family left last night, after our beautiful Mother's Day dinner, she and I talked on the phone. And I was just like, Kelsey got it. You know, we, we included Kels. And today we made command decisions. And I'm beyond excited. It's going to, like, it's more money than I would have thought. But because it's not until September, and I'm almost, well, you're going to see what I am changing in order to fit this in. Yeah, John came home. He was with TJ today. They did a dump run. Uh, then went to the gym already. And I already told John, I said, we're ready. He goes, all right. And, he, and he's, all, he's all set for it. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. And I, you know what? The fact that we're able to get a little bit of everything in for all of us, it works. You know? And I'm hoping that if there's something special that Vanessa and Kelsey want to do, they'll tell us. Because I just love it when everybody gets to do... I folded this one wrong. Um, you know, something special. And I'm looking forward to meeting Kelsey's little Phineas. Oh, looking forward. This is going to be so sweet. I'm, I'm very, very excited. And you know what's funny is that John and I leave a few days later for our cruise, which I'm still saving for, right? Um, we leave, and we're heading north to Nova Scotia on that cruise. So we're doing Massachusetts, um, Maine, Rhode Island, and all that stuff. So we're going to, we're going, we haven't been north, that north in a long time. I mean, I went to Massachusetts, I went to Boston, Boston, right? Love their accent. And, I'm, and who am I to talk like my accent? I went to see Aerosmith in, at, at um, Fenway with TJ a few years ago. And that was in September too. So I feel like, I feel like that's like, I feel like that's pretty cool. Like, you know, I'm getting back up there, but John and I have not been north. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I have to reach. Don't look at my gray hair. Oh, somebody took my, um, somebody took my, this is like a chat with me se section, session. Blah, blah, blah. Can you tell? I'm super, super excited. Um, John and I did Maine, Kenny Bugport, right? Um, when I was pregnant with TJ. And TJ is going to be 32. So it was probably 32 years ago that I was up that way with John. I mean, we went to Vermont in 2002. I'm trying to think of everything that we've done. Oh, my gosh. You know, I love it that we're in a a spot now where we can actually save our monies, be ahead, and do the things that we, we would like to do. And I talk about this all the time, and that's why I really, really want to talk about sinking funds tonight. I, I think sinking funds are more important than most people realize. Truly do. All right. Ah, so do you see how I do this? I do this, and then once you put it together, it reads like a book. Super excited. All right. Done. This probably did overkill. Now I'm going to bring in my hole punch. I hope that I won't edit any of this. I hope I keep it. And this is my hole punch. I got it on Amazon, and it is adjustable for A5, A5, A6, and so on. It's not expensive. It's on Amazon. It's linked in that description box below. And 
it is definitely a necessity when, when, well, it's not a necessity. I mean, you could take a regular envelope and start saving. But once you get into saving and this becomes your daily or your goals, it's probably a great um, tool to have. All right. Oh, I think I'm going to like this because look, it lays flat. All right. So it's definitely the Massachusetts trip is going to be one. I think two for me is going to be gas and tolls because I need that to get from point A to point B. I do want to trim that. I just want to trim that. Right? And then Airbnb would be next. Uh, schooner is that day. And then that one. Food and drinks. And then shopping. And then I don't need airfare, but I'm going to throw that in there because, you know, it goes with the set. And... <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm in love, in love. But you know what I could do? Check this out, ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna print out real quick and I'm gonna show you something. Let's, let's do this. Do I need two dashboards? Not at all, not at all. But I think I wanna do this. So I'm gonna print out one more. And then what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to tape it on. Yep. So let's go over it. So this is like a plan with me, budget with me. Let's, let's zoom in. Oh, how cool. Like, look at this. Is this not like, this has to be my thumbnail. It has to be. All right. So I just printed off another sheet, right? And what I want to do is I want to, I think I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger just to see what it looks like. And I don't think I can. I can't cut it bigger. I got to cut on the black line. Okay. I'm cutting. Give me one second. I am trimming out. I'm trimming out just on the black lines of the image. And I think what I'm going to do is, oh, this just sounded horrible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think I'm, I'm so excitable. Look at this. But what I think I want to do is, I don't know. Let's see what just a small piece of tape would do. Okay, so you know what? Honestly, I would just make it bigger. Just like that. And I'm just going to do the top. And the sides don't have to get done. And this is just going to be my temporary dashboard. And when this trip is fully funded, I can use this binder for something else. <gasps> do you love it? I love it. All right. So let's talk um, finances. All right, let, let's talk about this. Now, I'm going to zoom you back in. Now, these are my gas gauges, and I thought that to be pretty cool. So, what did I say? It was like 300. I, I did the math already. Um, how many miles to Salem, Massachusetts? Let's see what she says. I want to write my notes. Okay. And it says it's, let, let, you know what? Perfect. It's four hours. And that's, that's what this is all about. Four hours and 52 minutes. I don't know if it tells me. All right, let's ask. Are there any tolls from me to Salem, Massachusetts? Oh, didn't give me that. Under. Okay, so all right. It says it is 289 miles. So we're gonna put 300 miles. 300 miles. 
And if my car gets 23 miles to the gallon, so we'll say 300 divided by 23, that's 13 gallons of gas, right? I don't know why, 13 gallons. Um, just say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round it up, right? I'm going to round it up because I don't know what gas prices will be come that time of year, but I'd rather have more than less. I'm going to put, uh, God help us if it is $5, but um, so it's 13 and 13 is 26 times 5. It should be about $130 in gas. One hundred and thirty in gas, and I don't know what tolls would be, even if there are any tolls. So I'm going to round up. I'm going to make this a my goal, and it's in my my erasable pen. Goal for tolls and gas. I'm going to make this a two hundred dollar goal. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six times seven is 42. 42 spots. 200 divided by 42. I think these are going to be $5 a spot. So it's five times 42 equals 210. All right. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to just say these are going to be $5 each. All right, then the Airbnb was $800. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 times 50 equals 800. So each ghost will be $50. The schooner ship. I'm gonna make this um, 88 make this hundred and twenty dollars I'm gonna let's see 88 plus I don't know how much tip we're gonna give I, I honestly I have no idea if you have an idea of what you give for a tip I don't know um, just say it's thirty dollars that's 118 so if we made it 120 let's just make it you know we'll make this 150. And if we have extra money at the end, that's okay. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five, 10, 15, 20. 150 divided by 20 is $8 a boat. $8 a boat. Maybe $8 a boat. Um, all right, we're going to make $8 a boat. And plus tip equals 120. I think we'll try that. Or maybe it's just easier for me to bring $10 a boat. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 100, 150. I don't know, $5 a boat? No, that's only going to give me $100. All right. How about big boats are five, big boats are five, little boats are 10. So five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35. It's gonna be a 140 goal, 140, right? And I'm just gonna put 10 and five, 10 and five and 10, All right? That works, all right. 10, 20, 30. Did I do that right? I did it backwards, didn't I? 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 2, 3, 4. That gives me 160. I did it backwards. All right. Let's do that again. We're going to stick to the 140, right? We're going to stick to the 140, and the big boats are 5, and the little boats are 10. So that's 10, 25, 35, $35 a row. I'm just going to put a little, because this is based on every individual person. 
guided walking tour is $70 plus a tip. Again, not sure, but uh, 78. I think making this $100 would be perfect. 5, 10, 15, 20. So each cat for me will be $5. Right there. Okay. Oy, oy, oy. How come I, I think I need, we're there, I think four days and an average of 150 a day because dinners and drinks or whatever, I was just guesstimating $800. So if each row was a hundred, I'm going to put a goal of eight. And like I said, if I don't use it, it's so okay. So each row would be each one of these cauldrons would be $20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's the goal. Let's see if I can do it. Um, how much do I need for spending? I have no idea. You know, like I said, I want to, I want to get groceries before I go up there. Um, cause I, I have the car, they're flying up. So groceries, like just say water, um, you know, water, and snacks like that for the Airbnb and I don't know cocktails if they want I can this way you, it saves you money than going out I, I don't know what everybody likes but that works so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine actually two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen eighteen spots eighteen 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 spots. Um, I think 27 spots times 15. Ooh. 27 spots times 15 or 27 spots times 20. 27 times 20 is 540. I think that's the goal. I think 540 for extra, right? Now, never. That's not enough. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna ooh, twenty-seven spots. All right, twenty-seven times twenty-five is six seventy-five. Okay, six seventy-five. Each spot is twenty-five dollars. I think that's. I think that's. A nice amount of money to have just in case. But what's great about this is that I use my credit card and I pay it off. So this is going to get me to spend in September and then I don't have to pay it till October. So if my numbers are off, I have a month to save that money. Will I see that they're off? I don't know. I don't think so. But this is the book. And it is notes on one side, goals on the other, Airbnb, schooner ship, guided walking tour, hocus pocus for food and drinks, miscellaneous spending, souvenirs, and things like that, and don't forget list. Love it. Absolutely love it. And airfare for Bianca. All right. I think this video took up way too much of your time. But I wanted to share this with you. I want to know, have you done this tour? Have you been to Salem? Have you, have you done anything? Is there anything that maybe we should think of that we have not? I'd love to hear your input on it. I'm going to come back here with how I'm changing things up and what do we have to do to get this worked on. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.